Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. What is up, guys? International Stacker here, and I'm here to do my gold full stack. What you're looking at is almost 12.3 ounces of gold. And what do I mean almost? There's three gold coins I got as gifts that are eight grams each that I cannot show here uh, just for confidentiality reasons. So imagine three eight gram coins about these size, uh, these size, this size. Anyways, I want to go through this gold uh, with you and give you guys some insight and what it is and why I got it and some other uh, interesting things. First off, We'll start over here. This is that deal from uh, Nationwide Coins, and I got two of them. So in each one of these cases is 10 one tenth ounce gold eagles. So we have a total of 20 of those. My plan is I'm going to find a mint tube online, <clears throat> take them out of this case because I don't like this. I'm just going to keep them in a tube. But epic fail. I thought I could fill the tube because I was thinking, oh, it's just 20 like the one ounces. No, it's actually five ounces. So I've got to get uh, three more ounces of one tenth to fill it up epic fill anyways um this is what they look like and guys um just some information someone left a comment on one of my videos saying you calculated the price over under spot you got this for wrong because they're 22k now the guy was actually pretty rude and called me an idiot and all this stuff but the funny thing is he's the one that actually looks like an idiot and here's why and a lot of people don't know this and they confuse this. Although these are 22K gold, so it has some silver and I think a little bit of copper in it, it still has one tenth ounce of 24K gold. So if you were to weigh one of these coins, it weighs more than one tenth ounce. That's because the extra metals in it to account for that. So in every one tenth ounce or one ounce, gold eagle there is guaranteed to be either one ounce of 24k gold in this and one tenth ounce of 24k gold in this it's just in a 22k package so the coin weighs more so a little information for you if you did not know that uh so those are the one tenth ounce this is what a one ounce uh proof coin looks like and try not to show my face so i'm keeping things up a little this is a 1992 if you guys remember, I got this at spot price, crazy deal. So, so far I got that under spot and this at spot price is a sale in Provident. And I usually don't buy proofs and you guys know that maybe for flipping because uh, it usually carries a premium, but I got these for free. Well, not for free, but for the same price. So if I can get a proof or something slab for the same price of another one, I'll do it. Super cool. This is a $20 piece, 1863. Uh, I've showed this before. Think of it, guys. During the Civil War, this puppy is being carried around. Do you think this is part of the lost Confederate gold? Think about that. That would be crazy. Uh, we got here a one a quarter ounce, a one fourth ounce American Gold Eagle. So there you can see. We've got a one ounce, one quarter ounce, and one tenth ounce. I got a few more American gold coins here that we're going to showcase. Uh, we got this puppy here. It is 1882. I need to flip it the right way. This is a $5 piece. So what I should do is just show it like this and, f and flip it. $5 piece and American coins do that. Um, this is another American coin. Look at this. I got this at a spot price because it had a little dent on the rim, but I didn't mind. These usually carry a very nice premium. It's an 1856 $3 piece. You can see they're a little bit worn, but super cool design. So that's another US gold coin. And then I got these at spot price at providentmetals.com. Uh, there's an unboxing video you guys could check out, but these are US $5 commemorative coins. So this is 1986. I'm guessing this one's 1989. And I got these for spot price as well. So right now what you're looking up here I got these like $180 below spot. I got that at spot. I got that at spot. And I actually got this at spot too. It was another sell this year. I did an alert on it. That I did not get at spot. I don't think this I did not get at spot. And these I got at spot. So you guys, <clears throat> one of my biggest things that I learned is let the deals dictate your buying because you're going to end up with a lot more for <laughs> a lot cheaper. 
and eventually you'll get the stuff you want. I got here two sovereigns, very good price. I forget the actual price I paid for these. I think per coin, it was just like spot plus $2 or spot plus $4. It was a personal buy. So that's 18, uh, what is that, 84? And uh, 1907. And yes, we did verify all this gold. So it is all actual gold. Uh, coming down here. Oh, this right here is um, 10 guilders. It's from the Netherlands, 1925. Nice coin. You can see this one right here. Is 20 francs. I'm trying to look at the date. 1852. Is that right? Yeah, 1852, the 10 francs. Super cool. That's France, obviously. I mean, it should be. If not, let me know. For some reason, I always call these Austrian in videos and people go crazy. I'm just misspeaking, guys. I know these are Swiss. Um, these were minted in Switzerland. That's 1927. And if you guys remember three of these, 1935, I believe three or four of these I got at the LCS in, um, in, um, 1935, Gettysburg for spot price. Remember that one? Another 1935. So we got four of those and we got three more, just different capsules. And these other three I got for a very good deal too, 1935. 19, I believe is the coin and just an extra dollar or two over spot price at the time. So there's those. Um, that's one of those. Over here, we have actual Austrian gold. I always call those Austrian. I don't know why. This is Austrian. This is a Ducat. And the date on this, I think, is like 1915 or something. Where's the date? There. 1915. So that is an Austrian Ducat. Super cool. This is my only Perth Mint gold. It's a kangaroo. At the time, this was the cheapest. I remember buying it on Provident Metals, $25 face. I believe this is a quarter ounce. Yeah, this is a quarter ounce of gold. It's my only Perth Mint gold, but it's pretty cool. Uh, moving over here, a couple uh, Canadian gold pieces, $10 and $5. So that's a 2010 and a something. You guys, I turned on this light to help, but it's kind of hurting a little bit. Uh, this is a quarter ounce of gold, I'm uh, 2017. So it's a bison, I guess. And this is a Canadian maple leaf. One tenth ounce gold. Coming down here. We got a Philharmonic, and if you guys remember, Philharmonic for silver is one of my least favorite coins, probably for gold too. This is 1998, but I got a great deal on it, so I let the deals dictate my buying for the most part. So we got this, I'm guessing that's a one tenth ounce, looks like it. Oh, pesos, so we're down here to some Mexican silver. I mean gold, I'm so used to silver. That's a 1940, Five. And this, this is Estados Unidos, Mexico, so United States, I guess, of Mexico. I'm trying to see how many pesos. How many? Oh, there it is. Dos pesos. I think it said dos pesos. No, this is dos pesos. This is bigger than. Oh, I think this is two point, no. Dos y medio, so that means two and a half pesos, okay. That makes these dos pesos, that's a 1945. Cool little Mexican gold. And there's another dos pesos, 1945. You guys, these are pretty small. I can imagine people losing those all the time back then. Epic fell. Uh, this is a little Krugerand I got, 1984, a great deal. I believe at the time I got this at spot price plus like $5. It was a personal buy. And I mean personal, it's from person, you know, me and another person. 
Uh, really quick, here's a couple, a couple Pamp Swiss bars. I kind of don't like the cards, do, guys. I just, I don't know. But 2.5 and 1 gram, so it's 3.5 grams there. This I picked up in, these two I picked up in the Middle East at Gold Markets. That's 5 gram. And this is just a little copy of a Sovereign that I think is 2 grams or something. This I bought at spot price. They, when they sell gold, like a, you know, just gold for the gold price, they just make a copy of some random design and then sell you the gold. They actually do this themselves. So it's understood that that's a copy. And this is just a local bar there. That's a Pamp Swiss actually, okay. And these bars and these are very popular there. Coming to here, this is some gold I bought in Dubai in the airport. If you watch those streams, I actually bought these live in the airport. They're both one tenth ounce uh, Dubai gold, and they're of the Palm Island Jumeirah. That's actually an island there that they made shaped as a palm tree. I've been on it, and you can skydive over. It's just super expensive, guys. It's like four hundred bucks. I've gone skydiving in the past, um, multiple times, and it's like two, a hundred, one hundred fifty-two, or like one hundred fifty-two hundred. They were like 400, I just couldn't do it. So these are um, Saudi gold guineas, or gold reals, gold guineas is the real name. So this is the older version, I believe this is King Abdulaziz. And these are almost identical to sovereigns, they're like 7.98 grams, they're almost like exactly the same size. It makes sense, you know, it makes total sense. Because both the UK and America helped Saudi Arabia greatly when they're forming. Uh, these are the other type of gold guineas. You know what? These are King Abdulaziz. I think those are King Saud. So that's what these look like. Okay, so these are genuine. Now, these I bought for close to the gold price at the time. These are actually copies of this. And how you can tell the copies on these if you're ever there is it says 22K right there. That's a copy. Plus, the copies are always like way shinier than the real one. Can you see that? It's way shinier. Anyways, these are real gold, but you're just buying these for the gold, for the grams, just like this up here, okay? So it's known these are copies, whereas this is the real. But sometimes people get fooled and think the copies are real. So that's why you gotta do some research before you go mess with that stuff. These are a bunch of, uh, Little, uh, these are actually 14 um, carat little gold rounds. And a lot of people think these aren't really gold, but they are. Uh, I did a video, and I've given a lot of these away. I did a video where I took these to an LCS and he had a jewelry tester because mine only tests to, I think, 80%. It doesn't test below that. Or 90%, something like that. So these tested as um, 14K. They're nice, they're a little super thin, and then someone still told me they're fake after that video, so I actually did a video last time I was on a silver vacation, which I am now, and we cut some in half, and we looked at them, and they're definitely gold on the inside. They weren't plated, so that's that. This is a gold coin, coin I bought in the Middle East, and it actually goes this way. Um, this is a bodice. It's an African kingdom. This is a gold coin. I've tested it, totally legit. Got it from a super cool guy in the Middle East. I got a decent deal on it. See, I thought that was super cool though. Then we got this, this is 18 point, uh, what, five grams of gold, poured silver. All right, poured gold, I keep saying silver, poured gold. Guys, I'm so used, I'm so used to silver, so that's a nice little chunk. You guys, that is freaking heavy. And the final piece here, I actually um, bought this from MK Bars. And if you check out my videos, I have a couple videos where I toured his whole facility and I actually stamped this myself. And actually when I was there, um, well I stamped it and we hammered it and worked on it. But also while I was there, I poured my first silver bar ever. So if you missed those, go, che go check them out. But this is 24K gold, half ounce, see five. 0.5 ounce super cool design it's the gold scarab and if you guys saw my streams from egypt this is a very cool design that's all over egypt and we like hammered the edges very cool very chunky 
And if you want to see that in relation to a one ounce, so that's the poured gold in relation to the one ounce eagle. And here's that little button in relation to that. So that just gives you a little bit of perspective. So anyways, guys, there you go. Like I said, it's 12.3 ounces is my full stack, but three eight gram coins are out of the shot. Otherwise, that is it, guys. And I actually had more gold, but I gave it away in the Mega Gaw. It's an update, guys. I found this gold <clears throat> coin straggling in my unboxing area on a shelf. So I just put it in a capsule, and now it's with his family. I am backlogged on videos, guys, but a lot of crazy cool content is coming your way. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. As you guys know, I've been focused mainly on silver, but now I'm starting to stack gold. And I've got my little baby cannon here, my little baby IS cannon. Maybe I'm going to have to have another civil a silver civil war with Yankee stacking. You guys remember that? Were you guys around for that? That was a lot of fun. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. And you know, one more thing I wanted to say is people talk a lot about stacks getting stolen and stuff, which is a real big concern. But if you think about it, if you have a ton of silver, it's a lot harder to steal 5,000 ounces of silver. You might break your back and take 45 different loads to go get it. But think how much harder it would be to steal. Um, so what, this is 12, 12 ounces, it's... So being tw about 12 ounces, 12 points of the ounces, it's roughly like $16,000, $17,000, something like this. Um, that I paid for it, not at today's. At today's price, we're over 1500 so it's a lot more. But my point is, look how much easier it is to steal gold. You know? It's just like... Look how much easier it would be to steal this gold. Also, too, though, it's easier to hide the gold. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, arguments either way. But I like to be diversified. But I'm definitely more worried about my gold stack going missing uh, than I am my silver stack. And they have different things. A lot of people say, like, if SHTF happened and I had to leave where I was at, how am I gonna take all my stack? My plan isn't to take all my stack. It's hidden in such a way to where I could come back years later and I guarantee you nobody would ever find it. So in a SHTF scenario, um, although I don't necessarily stack, that's not my primary reason for stacking, but I'm protected against it. I would be taking a bunch of bags of constitutional silver for bartering and I'd take my whole gold stack, right? I wouldn't be lugging around for the most part um, you know, 100 ounce bars or anything. So that's kind of my outlook on that, and here you go. That's about, what, 17,000? Today's price, maybe 18 or $19,000 of gold right there. You know, a couple hand links. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. And what do we say? Catch you on the next one.